This video will help you understand how double exposure works. Two or more images can be used to create a visual appealing image that tells a story. Without much ado, let's jump right into it. This video is brought to you by Brand and Graphics Channel, and my name is Vincent Annie. To create a double exposure design, you need more than one image. Here we have this image of a city guy who was bored and was thinking about countryside experiences. He's thinking about nature. He loves nature, you know, mountains and birds and clear sky. Now let's get down to the canvas. The first thing is to import the main photo. Then we need to cut out the photo from the background using any of the selection tools. We are going to use automatic selection. So let's go to select, subject, and allow Photoshop to do the selection. Why do we need to separate this image from the background? It's because we need a white background. This image is no doubt in a white background, but it could have been on any other background colors. Always cut the image out and create a separate white background. I will tell you what we are going to do next. We are going to mask the image. Click the layering mask button. Let's carry on with our design and create the white background later. Don't bother about it. Let's bring the second image. The image of mountains and a third road. Position the image on top of the city guy's head. We need to see through this image so we can position the image properly. So what do we do? Let's reduce the opacity of the image. That's okay. Now, the way you position the image simply depends on the effect you are going for. I'm okay with this. The next thing we are going to do is to select the mask. So hold command or control on your keyboard and click on this mask. The mask is selected. Make sure the mountain layer is selected. Then apply a layering mask to it. Here we have two masks. Each mask covers the image is linked to. To resize any of these images, watch this. Not working well. Break the link, select the image and resize it. Let me tell you what we are going to do next. We are going to clean up this design with a soft brush. Since we want to erase the mountains and road from the guy's face, we select this mask. Grab our brush. Reduce opacity. And begin to brush away the debris. If you like this video so far, kindly give it a thumbs up. I will appreciate it. If you want to erase any part of the main photo, select the mask, grab the brush tool, Ensure the foreground color is black. And there you are. To bring back the things you have erased, select the brush. Ensure your foreground color is white. And that's it. We can now create the white background. Select the solid color and change it to white. 
drag it down. We are going to bring in a new photo, photo of birds. We'll make the birds to appear as if they are flying away from the mountain ridge. Place the photo like this. Reduce the photo until it fits into his head. Here we don't need to reduce the opacity. We can see where we are placing the birds. The birds are properly positioned now, but the photo background is still showing. So what are we going to do? We need to remove the background using the blending mode. Go to the blending option and choose multiply. We can even duplicate the birds layer and reposition them. So let's change the background color from white to one of the colors from the image. Click on the solid color and sample the guy's face. Very nice. And this is the second reason why you should cut out the image from the background. As you can see, now we are able to change the background color separately. And that's how to create a double exposure design. I really appreciate you watching this video. And I would like to know if you find it interesting. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.